when you really get to know bees, you understand they're actually pretty gentle. We tend to mix them up with hornet or wasp. Bees are reality. They teach me so much. Take your time, stay grounded. If you go too much in your mind, if you go too away from reality, then you get stung. Bees are exactly what the world is about. Much more than an office, much more than the technology. What you have to know about bees is let them be, let them do their work, and they will bring food to your table. I am Caroline Yell. I am a queen breeder, beekeeper, owner of Pope Canyon Queens. The state of California is on fire. As firefighters battle one of the largest fires in state history. The LNU fire is relentless, destroying everything in its path. The LNU fire changed our life. I just remember standing on the hill looking at the fire and the wind picked up directly going toward us. We were running because the fire just got there. It was so scary. It was hot, smoky. The fire is its own entity. It destroyed everything in its path. It took the building, the bees, it took my hives, and then it took the whole farm. It took a little of the dream away. We were the last to go. We really tried, but it was crazy. We basically lost everything we had built in five years. I lost more than 400 colonies. We had to start completely over. I have the network and the support of the community, of the contacts, of uh, other beekeepers around um, that made me believe that we can rebuild and do better. We learned from that night. It was just making sense that the project was not over yet. And that was just a huge bump on the road for us, but it allowed us to do better. I really feel that I can make a difference by being a beekeeper. The role of pollinators, a native or mainly uh, honeybees, is to pollinate. So they are the base of our agricultural system and they are the reason why trees produce fruits and why we basically have, have food. If there is no bees, there is no food. If there is no bees, there is no agriculture. To save ourselves, we have to save the bees. Bees are facing so much right now. Why are the bees dying? Basically, the monoculture and the way that we're growing our food is what affects the most the bee. The demand for almonds have increased so much in the past years that there is a huge stress on the honeybees. Monoculture cause a lack of food, a lack of good nutrients for the bees. So they are always coming back to the same flowers for acres and acres. They should get different smaller flowers or crops to help them to get all the nutrients they, they need. On top of it, you add the pesticide, insecticide, fungicide, varroa, there is pests, there is all natural disease and predators for them. Then you add a climate change, the pressure of being moved from pollination to another, the stress, shaking of the truck, the frame inside the hive are moving together. There is bees getting killed on a truckload. And then uh, they get to a new location. They have to find a new orientation where the food is. They have to uh, identify where they are, find a new source of water. And then they are going to pollinate the same flowers for weeks. As soon as they kind of try to adapt to that environment, we put them back on a truck, we move them again, and the cycle just keeps going. It's critical right now to select and breed a better queen bee. A powerful uh, mother of the hive so she can carry these stronger genes to the colony and then help the colony to survive the environment. The difference between uh, beekeeping and queen breeding, basically queen breeding is a very specific area of beekeeping. We're breeding queen to basically help to save the bees. So we want to select a gene that is stronger and make sure that the bees can be healthier. Breeding queen bee is super important because a queen bee is the reflection of the health of the hive. All of her genes are spread in the hive and the bees will be following her habits. So by natural selection, 
we are trying to select the better bees and reproduce uh, these queen bee to make sure that stronger genes are spread. It allows the new genetic combination that may increase resistance to pests and disease and the ability to adapt to a changing environment. The queen bee is the only one who can lay an egg that will become a bee. So basically without the queen there is no population. Queen breeding is literally from March to June. It's different step along the road. Every single step between the pouring, between the grafting, between the cell builders that are growing these royal cells, between the mating nooks, all these steps are super important. It, it builds a wave that we will be basically surfing the whole rest of the season on. We have empty boxes where the queen will hatch and go get mated. Then the queen we're putting in these box will start laying and there is a colony created, but at first it starts from nothing. Without the queen bee, the whole colony will collapse. She's the one carrying the genes, she's the one telling the workers how to build, what to get, what to do. Without her, it's chaotic in the hive, there is no organization. We would hope to breed about 25,000 queen bee in a season. As beekeepers, I've seen the difference with the queen bee. I got more and more customers and calls every year because they add uh, our queens to their hive and their hives are doing better. There are few women in beekeeping. My team is mostly women. We see details. We are more gentle. And more and more, actually, beekeepers, females are coming up and more and more owners. But still, the industry of beekeeping is busy men. My goal for Pop Canyon Queen is to maybe show an example that there is a way that can be done that will actually help the system to work better. The goal here is to breed better genes that will lead the bees to survive. Right now it's, it's incredible how they're healthy and happy, um, feeling of success, you know. That is the last step. When your queen is in there laying and looking beautiful, the colony are healthy, that's, that's where you've been working on. So for me, it's a huge accomplishment.